let's start our session in today's session we'll understand a small sweet simple example on how to work with the incremental load activities i'll mail you one script part of the session notes you'll receive one script wherein you'll create two tables maybe in the same database or two different database or one source sql database azure sql database and destination can be synapse anywhere okay this example works anywhere everywhere you create table i'll take the screenshots for clarity easy understanding i'll do it carefully so any pipeline it works adf synapse pipelines we have something called upset activities interesting simple concept you have a source table connected to the azure sql database so table ready with four rows then destination table maybe same database or it can be sql pool any destination okay for now for its easy understanding simple practice i am taking the same database for now i request you to try in same database another azure sql database and another azure sql pool also try three different variants same database first case different database same server second case different server sql pool third case if in case you are into the core data engineering components so second table also ready initially the second table has zero rows okay this one you may add etl or timestamp columns also if you wanted to now design the etl pipeline using upset method okay so here it is go to data factory let's go to data factory okay let's yes let's launch data factory and what we do yes our requirement our requirement to perform copy data tool with upset you may schedule the pipeline say default 24 hours new connection and i'll say azure sql database continue give subscription server name this is our database name give username and password test connection click create here i'll go for the table which table tbl source customer table okay this one select table say next no filters required it's completely optional same connection or a different database connection this is our destination table this one okay make sure you are not auto creating the table that's important table should be existing beforehand why 
let me show you reason we are using the leftover in our classes called upset but it won't work directly okay upset won't work directly upset means we need to compare two tables identify matching data look for updates identify missing data proceed for insert so we need to have key column that key column should be common in both tables that is the criteria here now no more error so when we say key column should be common in both tables make sure the target table also exist source table destination table common column upset okay this one right behavior will be upset for upsets for faster upsets additional temp db will be used for upset activities additional temp db will be used for the destination remember in azure every database every production database has its own copy of temp db in this case target database temp db space will be used for faster operations next that's it you are done i'll call it as incremental pipeline and hit next staging logging optional and hit finish okay so what we did so far source server source database source table destination table common column upset temp db says finish your pipeline is ready right your pipeline is ready now our next step before we execute here we go initially no data right initially no data now trigger trigger now like this trigger now and click ok like this trigger now and click ok trigger now and you click ok now what happens trigger now and click ok now what happens let's see go to the destination we should be able to see data like this okay so whatever is there at the source available on destination now insert two more rows insert two more rows okay update customer data for now i'll do inserts okay this one i'll do inserts two inserts and one update like this two inserts one update source yes it is fine right we are able to see data but what about destination destination will still see old data only right you still see old data so what we do after you run those changes so trigger the pipeline let's see trigger the pipeline again you can wait for the schedule to occur or directly click ok run the pipeline once you run the pipeline 
Now, after few moments, you will see, see here, updates to existing data and new data. Right? See here, updates to existing data and new data. We get everything. I mean, any changes you do at the source are automatically given to destination. This is what upset means. In earlier days, we don't have this upset option in ADF. It was a recent inclusion from Microsoft. So, for the purpose of incremental loads, we have this upset activity. Remember, to boost the upset activity, to boost the performance of upset activity, we have two options. Number one, staging. You may add staging to this example. Number two, you may add tempdb. Remember, I selected, I simply checked the tempdb option, right? You may add tempdb also to it. With this information, you'll practice these items carefully and do let me know for doubts and clarifications, if any. Just practice all the items as is from our class notes in the same order that we are understanding in the classes so that we don't miss anything and we should be ready for our actual job work. Do let me know for questions, doubts and clarifications. In case of any errors, you can WhatsApp me or call or email. And I was mentioning earlier, right? You please try the same example for Synapse also. Please try it and do let me know for doubts and clarifications.